This is your Weather Extreme video for Friday, June the 22nd. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. And we're kind of an abbreviated version trying to get it in with limited connectivity issues. The sounding from uh, Shelby County Airport last night shows that uh, our precipitable water has come up just a little bit, but we're still relatively dry. We have a cold front moving through the area, but it is a very weak cold front and not expected to do much of anything. The trough we've been advertising for the last week or so is dampening the ridge somewhat, but in the meantime, we've got a tropical system that is uh, likely to develop. Uh, the QPF still shows relatively dry for us, and it looks like we're going to stay that dry that way, but the models are certainly in disagreement, and that leads to uh, lack of confidence in the forecast. Storm Prediction Center still out looking a slight risk along the mid-Atlantic states and uh, over parts of uh, South Dakota and Nebraska, so the westerly is very far to the north. Chris, no uh, issue for us or for anyone really out there in the uh, North Atlantic. And then we have the disturbed area uh, basically over the southeastern Gulf of Mexico. The question is, where is that going to go? And there's the model runs that uh, have been run, and you can see there's a lot of doubt. Well, let's take a look at the uh, main GFS and European. And there's a look at the upper air pattern for tomorrow, and, and it definitely keeps us dry with the ridge nosing in across the southeastern U.S. from the west. On uh, Sunday, we see the GFS is suggesting that the reflection, the upper air reflection, would move up towards uh, the Big Bend country of Florida. And, uh, and then if the GFS is right, it would uh, then come across into the south uh, western Atlantic or the southeast coast of the U.S. across uh, north Florida. Now, that is not where the European takes it. There's the European for that same time. And again, this is uh, on Monday. European takes it and moves it over into the uh, central Gulf of Mexico, south of New Orleans. Uh, the, dis the, the difference in the two models continues to be pretty great, although the bottom line for us for both models is it stays dry. There's Tuesday, and the reflection, the upper air reflection of the tropical system is out in the uh, southwest uh, Atlantic off the southeast coast, the ridge getting strong over us, and the European at that same time, uh, again showing that the storm is headed for the Texas uh, coast across the central Gulf. As we head into Wednesday, the ridge gets stronger once again over us, and then again on Thursday, the ridge flattens a little, but it's still uh, basically covering coast to coast across the southern tier of the United States. That'll do it for this rather abbreviated uh, uh, weather extreme video, uh, trying to get in uh, the uh, video in a little more limited fashion uh, So uh, because of connectivity issues up at Mount Cheha. Thanks for tuning in. Hope that you have a great day and Godspeed.